Okay, I'm over here at my parents' house. We they've been hauling in uh, some of this wood. We brought a load home in my truck, so just uh, gonna buzz a few of these up. Okay, YouTube friends. So here's the thing: the audio on the GoPro sounded kind of muffled for whatever reason. Um, so I thought I'd do a quick little voiceover here. So I'm over here at my parents' house. Uh, they hauled a bunch of this uh, stuff home, and then uh, there's a couple loads here in the old flatbed that we that I hauled home. My dad and I went, and we uh, we went this day and got a nice two cords and stuffed in there and i just thought i'd come over and especially with the bigger stuff you know the smaller stuff they shove in the back of their toyota you can manhandle and stack into a nice neat pile but this left kind of an ugly pile here all spread out so i figure it's a whole lot easier on these bigger rounds to move around than a four foot log so grab the old 661 and i started cutting and you'll see here like uh I do a whole lot of marking. I do have a marking stick and stuff, but uh, especially with my parents' wood, I got to mark a whole lot more precise because the way they like to put the wood in their stove, they want to cut it 12, but 13 won't fit. And typically when I'm cutting firewood, I just kind of cut it. But uh, for here, it's like you got to be really precise, like 12 inches fits 13 inches is way too big so that's why you see me with the tape measure and marking and you'll see me kind of mess with the trying to get the cut at just the right angle because we're right there at not fitting so that's what i got going here is just uh chainsaw a few of these up and here pretty soon they'll get their splitter going and start stuffing it in there but uh i get some stacks going up here to go a little bit quicker and maybe as we dig into this pile a little more right now I got my 24 inch bar I might put my 32 or even my 42 if, if we even up a big old chunk of this pile because they've stacked it in there very nicely and evenly I could always put my 36 or my 42 inch bar on mark it up and just rip down through there and roll the rounds out of the way and do it again you can cut an awful lot in that fashion and get that old woodshed all stuffed up so it's ready for winter time uh, you know th this is the way we typically do it I, I do firewood to sell and I help them a little bit with theirs and you know it works out great like they take their little Toyota truck out and load up a load here and a load there and you know help them out but you know they get out doing something and you know it uh, it adds up you know and having a real small little stove like they do a uh, a lot of these ra small rounds are nice leave them whole split them in half it uh, makes them for some pretty good dang firewood really and we get them all set up so thanks uh, thanks for watching
So there we go. There's a bit cut up and and uh, we'll split a little bit and cut up some more. So thanks for watching.